been a chaotic yep. few days for Tottenham. Antonio Conte left the club on Sunday, and then yesterday they were told that the man tasked with finding his replacement, Fabio Paratici, has been banned from football worldwide. Yeah, according to Spurs, the developments concerning their director of football came as a shock to them, and they are now seeking urgent clarification from FIFA. It's led to further disconnect with the supporters who believe it could have implications on Harry Kane's future. Well, Paratici was banned from Italian football for 30 months in January after his former club Juventus, where he was sporting director and latterly managing director, were found guilty of false accounting. The Italian FA wanted his ban extended globally and FIFA have agreed Protici and Juventus have denied wrongdoing and an appeal will be heard next month. Well, these developments add further instability at Tottenham after Conte's departure. The ban coming just 24 hours after the club published an interview with Paratici providing an update on the short-term future. Tottenham responded, insisting they were given no prior notice of the developments by FIFA and had to contact the governing body after media reports. Spurs say that FIFA only responded in the late afternoon, hours after the news emerged. Tottenham are seeking clarification over the details of the ban and are adamant that there was no indication Paratici's ban would be extended globally, hence why he conducted an interview just 24 hours previously. On the face of it, it looks like Fabio Paratici is staying in his position as Tottenham's uh, director of football. And this is a man who is banned from football at the moment. Now, in Tottenham's statement, they say that they're seeking clarification, urgent clarification uh, from FIFA. But seeking clarification from FIFA about processes is not going to change the fact that Spurs is director of football is banned from football. It's very clear what he can do now. He has 10 days uh, to request the grounds of the decision uh, from FIFA's disciplinary committee. And once those grounds have been provided to him, he can appeal against the FIFA disciplinary committee's decision. Tottenham Hotspur Supporters Trust have repeated their call for the club to share their plans with supporters following the latest news on Paratici. They wrote, this news adds further to the extremely concerning situation at the club. No manager, no director of football and uncertainty around our star player and our end of season finish. Fans deserve to hear a clear statement of strategy from THFC so they can be reassured by the board on their plan to bring success and stability to the club. We'll take you through the timeline, shall we, now. And uh, Tottenham appointed Paratici as managing director in June 2021 after an 11-year spell at Juventus, which had included roles as chief football officer and managing director. Then, in January, it was announced in Italy that Juventus would be deducted 15 points and Paratici would be one of the 12 officials banned for 30 months. That suspicion only applied, though, to Italian football. Now, the Italian FA wanted the sanctions to be extended globally, and yesterday, FIFA announced that they had agreed to this request, meaning it was a worldwide ban from football. Well, Juventus and Paratici had already appealed the ban handed to them in January, and that will be heard in just under three weeks. And while the sporting sanctions are ongoing, Juventus and Paratici potentially face a criminal case as well. A preliminary hearing is due to take place in Italy in May. Juventus and the officials involved deny any wrongdoing. No, I don't think hyperbole at all. I think, I think Jason's paper in Telegraph has gone even further with people saying it's the uh, the worst crisis Daniel Levy's ever faced. Mm. And I think that's a pretty accurate summation, just the amount that's going wrong at the, wrong at the club. And while some of that might be forgivable in terms of decisions you have to take on managers and the rest, or at least understandable, this is much less so. This is this is almost of their own making in the sense they had so much warning about the Paratici situation. And it's all the more remarkable, I think, given that the hallmark of Daniel Levy's time has been, I suppose, steady growth, steady, responsible growth of the club. And yet, in the last few months, it's gone haywire. There could be uh, a, a appeal down the line from Tottenham, which would kick this down the road a little bit. But how complicated a summer could it be when you look at various aspects of, of the club? 
Well, if you, if you look at it and think, well, the man tasked with finding the new manager is now not going to be able to carry out that job. The man tasked with the contract negotiations for Harry Kane is not going to be able to carry out that job. The man tasked with the summer signings and the exits from the club is also not going to be able to do that job. So it pretty much sums up the mess that Tottenham have got themselves into. And the statement tonight is slightly embarrassing. Obviously, 24 hours after Paratici put out a public um, statement himself, sort of saying, you know, uh, stabilising the club and we move on. And it was the right decision to move on Antonio Conte. And now he himself has effectively been, at least temporarily, moved on. Um, so, yeah, the whole situation uh, smacks of a club that's not really in control of itself.